Hello everyone, my name is Dmitry and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna talk about Bali. It's my second video about Bali and I want to talk about the pros and cons living there for a long term. Uh, I've been living in Bali for the last 16 months, so I kind of have some opinion. Uh, unfortunately, you can see in the Instagram or travel bloggers a lot of uh, presentation Bali as a kind of paradise, kind of like a perfect place in the world. Uh, but it's not always true. So usually what you see, it's not really a full picture. So today I want to give you my personal opinion about living in Bali, especially as like a digital nomad and for the long term. So let's start with the cons. So first cons for me is um, walkability. Uh, you can't really walk around in Bali. There is no infrastructure, there is no sidewalks or pedestrian areas or of course no bicycle roads or anything like this and i really like especially when i'm traveling i really like uh, walk around the area and to do so in bali you need to drive a bike it's not always a pleasure uh, thing to do because there's a lot of traffic jams and a lot of tourists a lot of locals driving bikes around sometimes they doing it without any rules so it's kind of like a crazy traffic there and the only place where i can walk around is the beach which is not bad but you, you have to live near the beach first of all and you also need to like to go on the sand also if it's a high tide you can't really walk around and in winter time it's a bit trashy on the beach so yeah and also you can't really walk to discover the island you you have to drive a bike so for me personally it's a it's a it's a really drawback about the Bali the second cons is about the inequality uh, unfortunately Bali it's a place in a really developing country and there's a lot of poor people there and uh, buildings in poor condition and they are kind of like a rundown there and at the same street you can find like luxury villas uh, which costs like thousands of thousand of dollars uh, to rent and yeah it's kind of bummer to see this it's not a con per se you can't really do anything about this but uh, sometimes it's really sad to see these things and unfortunately sometimes it leads uh, to really uh, irrespectful behavior from the tourists from uh, expats and from well, foreigners in general not all of them are like this it's a pretty small portion, uh, thankfully. So the next point for me, and it's uh, really controversial, but weather. A lot of people go to Bali because of the weather, you know, summer goes all around the year and yeah, etc, etc. But for me, I really don't like the tropical weather because it's, it's really humid, especially in winter. And it's really, really hot uh at winter as well uh, it's okay in summer it's not so many rains it's not so humid and the uh, temperature goes down because you know it's a uh, it's a southern uh part of the earth so the winter and summer have switched uh, places there uh, but winter is not so great there's a, a lot of rain like the whole month could be raining and it's it's really really heavy rains uh, where you can go outside at all it could be not so bad uh, depends on the season but yeah this year for example there was a lot of rain also the weather is too hot it's really not great to always sit in your air conditioner and otherwise it's super super hot so not, not for me and maybe mm, you will find out that you also uh, don't like this type of weather I, I really like when the seasons are coming and going so we, we have a pretty chilly winter and then not so hot summer i really like this type of weather but yeah but i know some people are really like tropical weather another downside for me is uh, it's too many people uh, as i already told you a lot of instagram and travel bloggers talk about bali and they kind of promoting the place and a lot of people going there even if they not really maybe want or maybe they picked a different place in their their um, circumstances but because it's so popular and everybody wants to see uh, this place uh, by their own eyes uh, so a lot of people just going to bali because it's it's a hip before pandemic uh, in the november of 2019 it was so crowded so I didn't even want it to go outside because it's uh, like all the cafes have the huge queues, uh, huge traffic jams everywhere and it's really unpleasant. If you don't like uh, 
huge amount of people all the time. I really like nomadic community there in Bali. The, most of the people are really nice. They always like to come together and discuss some things, work together, do some collaborations. It's really great. Uh, uh, but unfortunately, most of the tourists who come there for a couple of, just a couple of weeks, they mostly coming for partying and yeah doing some silly stuff well you know how it is with tourism <laughs> the next and the last drawback for me it's uh, accommodation uh, it's also a bit controversial because actually bali has uh, great places to stay but most of these places are guest houses or uh, villas and if you don't know what guest houses is it's like kind of like small hotels usually you have one room well basically <laughs> that's it one room one bathroom and uh, villas is more like big houses with usually with private pool a lot of private space uh, but the problem with all these places they kind of open they really like the open spaces there for example open kitchen open uh, open living room the doors i usually have a lot of holes in it so a lot of uh, bugs coming in uh, a lot of other stuff uh, like uh, like mold is a really popular thing in Bali because of humidity. Sometimes it's really hard to find a good accommodation. For example, I'm a fan of uh, just regular flats, like apartment style uh, accommodation, and it's really really hard to find these kind of places there. Fortunately, we find one and we lived there for last seven or uh, eight months, and yeah, we really like it. But still. It's really hard sometimes to find a good accommodation. But enough is the cons. Let's talk about the good things about Bali. Of course, there's a, a lot of great things for uh, each person to find there. And this is mine. So the first uh, one is people. I already told you that I don't really like um, a lot of tourists, etc. But of course, there is a great nomadic community there. It's one of the most popular digital nomad destinations for the last couple of years definitely it's a really good uh, place to find some like-minded people uh, well whatever you're doing uh, you will find the people who are doing this uh, as well in Bali another mm, good point for me is a uh, culture and atmosphere because Bali is an island and islands have um, some specific atmosphere there uh, most of the people and locals uh, relaxed pretty chilly there's uh, like this uh, relaxing vibe there, uh, a lot of surfers, uh, reggae music are pretty popular. Uh, it's hard to explain, uh, but when you first time come to Bali and you go to Batu Balong at the sunset and there is a group playing there, uh, some nice relaxing music and you see the sunsets uh, with a small beer in your hand, uh, you're really becoming to love this place. It's really nice. The next point is food. Uh, Bali is probably one of the best places in Asia to find all kinds of food. If you like Asian food, you can find it um, everywhere in Asia. But if you like Western type of food, uh, if you are, for example, vegetarian like me or a vegan or you like some specific food or you like some sport food, healthy food, etc., you will find all of this uh, in Bali. It's it's a bit harder to find it um, in other places in Asia, but in Bali there is all kind of restaurants, a lot of foreigners opening a restaurants there, and you will find everything. The next thing for me is surfing. Uh, Bali is one of the best destination for surfers all kind of levels. Uh, there is a lot of spots for uh, really for professionals, for great surfers, and there is uh, several spots for uh, beginners. If you are only learning how to surf, it's also a great place to go. There is a lot of surfing schools, surf camps, uh, a lot of great uh, trainers uh, who can teach you. And I also learned how to surf in Bali, and I really uh, fell in love in this activity. The next one is uh, nature. I already told you that I don't like the weather uh, pretty much, but I really like the nature. It's really really great to have your bike uh, go somewhere on the further parts of the islands where it not so many people and just drive around these jungles and waterfalls and lakes and to see the sunsets on the ocean and yeah it's it's really nice uh, you can just enjoy it every day and wake up on the sunrise at some beautiful places i hope it stays that way and all this amount of people doesn't ruin to <laughs> this uh, beautiful island. And the last point, uh, at least for me, it's maybe not so mm, important for people who come from Europe or uh, United States where you have uh, Amazon and other great 
online services but for me uh, coming from russia online services and online shopping are really great in the bali and in indonesia in general you always can go to chocopedia or lazada and uh, order something online and it comes to your doorstep uh, in a couple of days and also food delivery services uh, from restaurants they're amazing it's really popular even locals using them it's really nice and it's really cheap it's like fraction of the dollar uh, you can get the delivery that's probably it uh, i hope uh, you will find these tips useful and maybe you decided to go or not in bali if you have any questions about bali uh, because i lived there so long i have some information so i could help you out or if you wanna uh, if you have different opinion about uh, my pros and cons, uh, you can just put the comment in below and we can discuss this. I hope you like it. Uh, smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. I'm currently in Turkey, so you pretty soon will see a couple of videos from Turkey and my opinion about Antalya and Istanbul, how to live here. So yeah, stay tuned. See you next time.